Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolakia, and you are watching its tomorrow news. At least 31 people are dead and more than 197 missing after a glacier burst in India's northern Uttarakhand state on Sunday and crashed through two hydroelectric projects, triggering deadly flash flood along the river. The rescue operations are underway as 35 are supposed to be in the tunnel. A part of the Nanda Devi glacier broke off in Uttarakhand's Chamoli district, leading to massive floods that led to the death of several people and hundreds are missing. Though more than 197 people were confirmed missing, however, that number could be more. Footage of the disaster showed a fast-moving avalanche of dust, rock and water barreling through the narrow Georgian Chamoli district in the Himalayan state and sweeping away parts of a dam as well as buildings, trees and people in its path. Those living further down the river were urged to evacuate from the rising water. Casualties are feared and people in living in villages near the Dali Ganga and Alaknanda rivers have been evacuated. Rescue teams have been rushed to the spot and several districts of the state have been placed on high alert. Experts say one possibility is that massive ice blocks broke off the glacier is due to a temperature rise releasing a huge amount of water that could have caused avalanches bringing down rocks and mud. The glacial lake burst, a cloud burst or an avalanche, the impact of climate change or development, scientists are not sure what triggered the sudden surge of water near Chamoli in Uttarakhand. The glacier dwells on the Nanda Devi peak which is the second highest mountain in the country after Kanchenjunga. It is a part of the Garhwal Himalayas and is located in Chamoli districts of Uttarakhand between the Rishi Ganga Valley on the west and Guri Ganga Valley on the east. The glacier is located within the Nanda Devi sanctuary and drains west into the Rishi Ganga. Both Nanda Devi North and Nanda Devi South glacier are 19 kilometers in length and originated from the mountain peak which is 7108 meters above the sea level. Melted water of the Nanda Devi glacier forms several streams and rivers. The water first flow into the Rishi Ganga river which later joins Dali Ganga river. It should be noted that Dali Ganga is one of the tributaries of river Ganga. Dali Ganga later merges into Alaknanda river at Vishnuprayag. The Dali Ganga river passes through places like Joshimat and Karnaprayag while Alaknanda flows through prominent regions like Uttarakhand, Srinagar, Haridwar, Ranikhet, Bhimtal, Haldwani etc. The surprise is also because of timing a possible reason for the sudden rush of a water like a cloud burst is not expected at this time of the year. It is possible that an avalanche or a landslide created an obstruction in a flow of the river or stream in the upper mountains resulting in a makeshift dam like situation. When the pressure of the flowing water became large, the dam probably gave away leading to a sudden gush of water. These are just the possible scenarios. Retreating glaciers like several in the Himalayas usually result in the formation of lakes at their tips called prological lakes often bound only by sediments and boulders. If the boundaries of these lakes are bridged, it can lead to a large amount of water rushing down to nearby streams and rivers, gathering momentum on the way by picking up sediments, rock and other materials and resulting in flooding downstream. The events are not unusual but their impact depends on the size of the proglacial lake that burst. The incident occurred after the water level in Dali Ganga river, one of the six feeder of the Ganga river, suddenly surged on Sunday morning near the Rishi Ganga power project. The 85 km river meets the Alaknanda river at Vishnuprayag at the base of Joshimat mountain in Uttarakhand, while the sudden rise in water levels have affected the Joshimat area. Remnants of the recent western disturbance affected the western Himalayas region until very recently with moderate snow and rainfall in isolated areas. Overall, Uttarakhand had received deficit rainfall despite recurring western disturbances in this area. A portion of Nanda Devi glacier breaking off on Sunday morning said to be the reason behind the current floods. A wall of the water and rock sped down the Doli Ganga river so quickly that there was no time to sound the alarm. The incident of glaciers that broke off in the Chamali district of Uttarakhand has resulted in heavy destruction. Due to the flooding of Dali Ganga river, the danger had increased for surrounding areas too. The avalanche struck at about 11 local time 
destroying a dam known as the Rishiganga Hydroelectric. The flood waters burst open a dam and a deluge of water poured through a valley in the state of Uttarakhand. A piece of the glacier fell into the river and crashed into the Rishiganga Hydroelectric Project Dam. Due to the sudden dam breakdown, 150 people working on the project are reported missing. The impact catapulted water along the Dholiganga River, damaging another power project downstream in the Tapon area. Rescue teams worked throughout the night to find survivors and recover bodies. 15 people trapped in a tunnel were rescued on Monday, according to Chamoli District Police, though rescuers are now focusing on a second tunnel which is blocked with debris. A tunnel at the state-owned NTPC hydro project was clogged with debris from the avalanche triggered by the glacial burst. The avalanche completely inundated the Rishiganga power project, a smaller hydroelectric dam on the river in Chamoli. Those living alongside the Alaknanda river were urged to flee to safety but stay calm. Roughly 15 people managed to get out of the one tunnel after getting word of the avalanche on their mobile devices. Rescuers are battling to reach them, but the surrounding road is covered in debris. Rishiganga meets Doliganga near Rainy village, so Doliganga also got flooded. Five to six houses of the village were also washed away. An NTPC project on river Doliganga near Tapawan was completely devastated. Two Jula bridges connecting villages on the other side of the river were also washed away. The incident occurred after the water level in the river, one of the six feeders of the Ganga River, suddenly surged morning near the Rishi Ganga power project. The 85 km river meets the Alaknanda River at Vishnu Prayag at the base of Joshimat Mountain, Uttarakhand. While the sudden rise in water levels have affected the Joshimat area, the water level in the Alaknanda River gradually returned back to normal. At Rainy Village, which is 26 km far from Joshimat, the Doliganga River got flooded and destroyed many houses situated at the riverbank sides. Rani village is said to be the epicenter of the popular forest conservation campaign called the Chipko Movement in 1973. The Rishikesh Joshimat Mana Road, which was blocked at Hathi Pahar due to flash flood in Doliganga, was reopened for traffic by Border Roads Organization. A multi agency rescue operations, including Indo Tibetan Border Police, and National Disaster Response Force is in full swing to release people still stuck in the tunnels. The forces have cleared 90 meters stretch of debris in the big tunnel at Tapawan till now, with about 100 meters of clearing still left to do. Moreover, several BRO teams are in the area for relief operations. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dolakia. For more weather updates like this, do like, share and subscribe to our channel.